Hello and welcome, I am the Gaming Trucker and this is Hard Space Shipbreaker. Welcome back. And, you know, I have no idea where we left off. It's been a few days since my last recording. And, uh, yeah, I had no idea. Let's check out our equipment here. Ooh, grapple's a little bit, uh... Uh, worn down. Let's give that a repair. And we have 141 Lynx tokens. Uh, not really enough to uh, get any upgrades. So let's just dive in here. Take a look at our certification. Uh, just need one thruster and then a total of 13.5 million on the credits so it's just a matter of getting money at this point the thruster will come along with it money 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 so let's get back comms data nothing there let's start it to shift here uh, selecting ship mediums all the day all the way down Um, nothing really stands out here as far as aesthetics. Not that that matters. We're going to tear it apart anyway. Um, this has uh, probably an extra nacelle set on it. Uh, 5.2 is the best we can get. This one, um... And it looks like it has the lowest hazard rating as well. Uh, no power cell to recycle out of that one, though. Nah, let's give it a shot. Yes, and uh, so we're going to try to keep these uh, episodes down to two shifts. And see how that goes. Now, I did try playing with a controller. Now, I thought this thing was supposed to have three nacelles on it. Was that the other one? Did I select the wrong one? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I, I did try playing this with a controller. And... No, not gonna happen. It, the, my game would crash within three minutes, three or four minutes, every time, and nothing else was any different anywhere else in the game. It's just that the con I was trying to use a controller. Air pressure level decreasing. A couple of wrenches over there. Level back dropping. up right okay here we are back in business here there's the reactor a couple of wrenches please go to the barge hmm okay let's get this thing done here right that's all done so we can get rid of that console and let's get moving So how's everybody doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Been getting a little bit off on my recordings. Instead of uh, uh, staggering my episodes of different content, I've been getting a little bit behind and having to do 
two episodes back to back of the same thing. Is this a forklift? It sure is. And let's take a look here at our work orders. Um, the forklift is not on the work order. Interesting. And that's something new to me right there. A cut guard. Interesting. Okay, I heard something about that, but I've never seen it since they implemented it. There's another one over there. Alright, let's give this a little bit of a help here. And we'll take this console off. this reactor there we go all done I think that panel just went in Just another day out here in space with hard ship, hard space ship breaker. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, can I move this uh, with my thrusters? Kind of, sort of. Let's get that off of the plate. And there we go. Give that plate a little shove. And then it's back to using anchors. Tethers, not anchors. Get that pulled out a little bit. There we go. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. And then tether that over there as well. There we go. Now we're making some progress. Uh, this one here needs to be cut off the top. Just like that. And I believe it's free. That goes down to the barge, so let's just shove that out of the way. And then we can tether that into there. Make our way over here. What are you talking about? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Right. Warning. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable uh, Thank you. I didn't bother to look to see if there were any bottles hanging around in here. But in here. Nope. Okay, we're going to have to make our way back. Oxygen 
oxygen reserves are critical. Thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Oxygen level stabilizing. And back we go. About half our shift is gone. And we still haven't even gotten the thruster. Uh, so let's see what we can do about that. Is that, that should be cut loose here. Just give that a little shove. No? What, what's going on here? There we go. Come on, man. What is going on with that plate? It does not want to move. There we go. Get a little bit of light in there. Okay, a little more light. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Is all we need for our certification aside from the money. All right, let's hop in here. No, let's go around. Certification goal has been completed. Additional goals remain. Yep, just money. Okay, I guess we can get that. That's a little bit of money. that one. See if we can reach these cut points from over here. There's that one. And that one. There we go. That's loose. And power junction box. There. Get that out of here. couple more packages in there. Let's get this. Um, come on. That is loose. What's holding it in? They've made some tweaks here and there to uh, to the game. Things are just a bit different. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. And that's probably good. Nope, oh, it made it in. That should make it in. Now, uh, we have the side panels to get loose, but those are easy to access. We're going to end up getting that next 
in the next uh, shift, I would like to maybe get these fuel tanks. see the difference between the two on this side there's no lights and that side there is that indicates there is still fuel in these lines so you do have to be careful okay so we'll hold on to the side here while we do this so we don't drift off Now, these tanks are right, loose. Wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right, good, good, good. Salvage secured. And we have a couple cut points. We'll get these nacelles the loose for the next uh, shift. And we'll see if we can get this entire ship sent into the recyclers. Uh, in the shift. Bunch of cuts to do. All right, that's our shift right there. How did we do? 1.4 million, basically. Uh, and each thing trashed up an aluminum panel that was attached to a different panel. And then a light. Yeah, I'm not worried about lights. Let's keep going here. And there we go. We made a bit of money, not a lot. And we're just scratching away at this bottom line down here. So everything else is done except the credits. So we just need to get these uh, 13 and a half million credits and we are done with this uh, certification. Let's go ahead and jump right back in and keep going. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Tab, thank you, continue. Yes. Right. Get the right, uh, <laughs> right piece of equipment there. Okay, and that's loose. Where does that go? Processor. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, let's get in here and make a bunch of cuts as quickly as we can. Get these panels out of here, and I don't know how to deal with this. Um, there's a storage bin. Um, this cut guard here. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Do we just... Um, I don't know. I have no idea how we're supposed to deal with that. We're supposed to hit it with something. Um, looks like it catches fire. But 
I'm gonna keep moving. I'm not going to dwell on it till uh So those things, those things are still burning. All right, let's. Um, I heard something about an hitting an impact. Let's try this here. did it. So if you hit it with a light, you can break off the... Is that a lower use to it? Looks like. They can come back here. Just slam your 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 uh, lights that you're not going to recycle into it, and uh, that'll take care of it. Oops. Seems like a lot of extra work here. It does not take a full strength impact, but. Gosh, this is uh, super sensitive right now. I don't know. Okay, there we go. There you go, people. Just uh, throw your lights into it. Here. That breaks the back end loose, but the front end. Right. Time is ticking away rather quickly here. Yeah, that is a big time sink. Um, breaking all of those impact things off off of your cut points there there we go a little more money and that's all there is to it at this point like I said kind of broken record at this point aren't I uh Go. Nice. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Other side. Reminder, asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. Salvage 
Yes, thank you. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation coverage. And a little bit closer. There we go. We'll get some oxygen. We'll get some tethers and we need to salvage a computer terminal to finish off the work order right get that in there and we're left with pretty much just the framework here a little bit on the nose let's see what we can do about this There we go. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Come on. Quit hanging up on everything. Thank you. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Oh well. And what is this in here? Data drive. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, we have a seat in here still. And we need a computer Salvage terminal. Credits deposited. Let's get a few more things out of there that could possibly um, catch fire or something if that computer terminal decides to go wonky. Where are we at? Five minutes left of the shift. We're doing excellent. Applied. And there's the computer terminal. We can make a little more money off of this thing. Okay, what's left in here? Container on the left. Uh, the window, I'm not going to worry about it. We, I guess we can yank this off. And then we'll grab this container. Okay, and that's all I am going to uh, worry about with this thing. We'll use a few um, tethers and get that thing over there. That should do it. And we're not even going to worry about detaching that. Um, let's move this over there a little bit. So we can get this thing in the furnace. Yeah, we're going to lose a bit of money on that. Um, but that's okay. another one or two of those things but like I said not really worried about it you going over there
two and a half minutes left. Awesome. Running low. And that's it. That is everything. Well, there's a few things floating around here. What are those? The lights? Furnace. I think those are the lights I use to bash other things with. Not that I see. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there's something right there. Another light. Just making sure that I can't find anything else. We still have one minute left in our shift. I don't see anything. One minute left, Cutter. What is Time that? Anything? Well, there's something floating around over there. It might have just been... Um... Nope, there's something. Nope, it's just dust. <laughs> I'm seeing reflections of dust. Alright, that's it. We, uh, we finish the entire ship in two shifts. Yeah, we lost a little bit of money because I didn't salvage the airlock off of there, but if I had taken the time to do that, I don't think I would have gotten the uh, framework in the furnace. So we did destroy quite a bit of things when we did that, but I'm not concerned. 1.7 million so we got ended up getting 4 million out of that ship total that's not bad at all not bad at all um, so nanocarbon panels we made quite a bit of money nanocarbon itself storage bins yeah a little bit of money every every little bit helps though doesn't it uh, computer terminals, three of those. That was worth a little bit. Um, I'm curious about those wrenches. Um, I think that was... Uh, I think that was in this shift, wasn't it? Or was that last shift? Oh well, not a big deal. Uh, 27 lights destroyed. Uh, well, I'm using the lights as a hammer because you put that stuff around my cut points. Okay, so there we go. There's that shift. There's a second shift right there done. And let's check things out here. Continue. We made a little bit of dent there. And a little bit of a dent there. So... We are over halfway done with the credits for this certification. Very nice. Uh, we did get uh, something here. That'll give us some more uh, LT. An extra 100 LT right there. And let's uh, go back. We look at our equipment. The uh, laser cutter is uh, l l below half on its durability. And we have 530 points. So let's take a look and see what we can upgrade here. Range on the split saw. Heat capacity. So it takes a little bit longer to overheat. But the cooldown is probably going to be even better for us. Small tuning adjustments in the laser cutter onboard cooling system can be made to the to take better advantage of the salvage bay's uh, 
Microatmosphere, decreasing cooldown times. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to take that. Whatever all that meant. <laughs> uh, grapple upgrades. Tether lifetime. That might be worth it. Uh, right at this second, it's not. What do we have here? Brakes. We can slow down faster. Uh, fuel capacity. We don't have that already? Uh, apparently not. Um, the scanner allows us to see objects and range on the scanner. Helmet. We can increase... Oh, we can we can uh, recharge our, our oxygen if we're in a, a, uh, a pressurized system. And then our work suit, audio synth, and electrical resistance. Let's take the electrical resistance. So that if we get a little bit of a shock, we can survive it better. Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode. Two shifts per episode, and we're just going to keep along doing that for a while and see how it goes. We've done everything else we can do here. We've done our comms. Uh, we're looking at our certification information here already. We uh, looked over our equipment. And uh, we're going to start the next shift in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Feel free to leave any comments down below, as well as any tips, tricks, or suggestions. Maybe you can find something else that I can bash that um, protective coating uh, off of my cut points with, instead of, you know, damaging my lights. Uh, how about... Maybe I should have used those wrenches, but uh, I, I tried just bashing it into it, you know, uh, while I was connected to it, but it didn't want to do anything. The, the only way it was to uh, use my charged push that seemed to do it. Maybe if I was using a different object, object like those wrenches, it would have worked better. So that's something to try next episode, if there's a wrench in, in every ship that has those. Maybe that's what I should be using. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, bye-bye.